Hello, I'm Stuart from the Number One Bead Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these lovely Diamante bracelets using a technique which we call silver soldering. Now, before we start, we get a piece of paper and we fold it four times. The reason we do this is because we're going to glue the material onto the paper. If you just use a single piece of paper, it can glue onto the surface. So we use the, the paper like this so it leaves a gap underneath. Let's put this to the side just now. Now this chain here is a, a Diamante crystal chain. And to make the bracelet we need four lengths each 18 centimetres. So we just measure out to 18 centimetres. And using scissors or cutters, just cut it like so. And we repeat that four times. And we get four lengths of chain roughly the same. Then we place it on, oops. Then we place it on the paper, like so. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Now we just level these up, make sure they're all nice and tight together. If it's a little uneven at the ends, don't worry too much because we can trim that once we're finished. Now I'm just going to check the sizes before I begin. Yeah, so this one here, the shortest one is 18 centimetres, is what we're looking for. Now if you were making this in a factory, you'd use silver solder and solder these pieces together. But a much easier, quicker and cleaner way. Now we're going to use the, the 401 glue here. It's a very, very strong glue and it sets very quickly. Now, you have to be careful with this glue because it will discolour and mark materials. So we need to make sure that we only put it at the ends, which will be hidden when we insert it into the clasp. Now we just put a couple of drops on the ends like so, not too much. And the, the paper will absorb all the excess glue and help bind the four pieces together at the back. Now here, because I cut these a little bit long, I'm just going to put the glue here. And then once the glue is set, then we'll just trim them off. Now if you wanted to brace it a little bit smaller, we would suggest cutting it to the 18 centimetres, you could just put a little bit more glue on it and then just trim it to fit afterwards. Now, this one here I glued about 10 minutes ago. As you see, the glue is already set. Just move this one out of the way. Now, what we want to do here is we'll just open up the piece of paper and we're going to cut off There we are, you see there, the glue has stuck all the strands together very well. Now, before we before we put it into the bracelet, we want to clean it up a little bit. So we're just going to peel any excess paper off, like so. Trim the edges. Do the same with this side. Now as I said, if you make it a little bit longer, it's quite easy to trim the chain. You can use probably cutters or scissors as long as you're a sharp end. And there we have the two, two ends ready for the next stage. Now to make this bracelet, we're going to use this silver plated clasp here. Now a good tip is to use some masking tape, which is like this and wrap it round each side of the clasp 
before we start and it just saves any excess glue marking the materials. Now the glue we're going to use for this is different, it's E6000 glue, very strong glue used by most of the factories in China. Now we'll squeeze some on each side, about half filling the, the reservoir. You, you don't have to worry about any excess glue with the E6000 because when it's set then it's very very easy to peel off. The most important thing to remember with the E6000 glue is to leave it for 24 hours to cure. That way it's set and you can peel off any excess. Now what we'll do here is we'll just make sure we've got the clasp the right way around and we just push in the chain first to this side. And do the same on the other side. And we just straighten it up. And that's that's pretty much it, but just to be on the safe side until it's set, we use some more masking tape and we just wrap the masking tape around like that. You don't have to do that. It just means that if it, if you knock it when you're working at your table then it won't come out. There we are. That's it. And then, say, so leave it for 24 hours. And once it's set, peel the masking tape off, and you'll have a beautiful bracelet, just like this one. Now, all the materials we use today are available on our website at the number one beadshop.com. Thank you for watching.